So you just purchased this dresser from Ikea that you have to put up yourself. It comes with instructions, but those instructions do not have pictures. Are you going to be able to put that dresser up just by reading it? Or will you, like myself, maybe need some pictures or probably just YouTube a video of how to put it up and follow along to the video? Or will you be able to listen to somebody else and how they put it up and be able to put the dresser up just by listening to what they say? Well, this is important to know because this may tell you how you are able to learn information. And the way you are able to learn information, knowing that can help you maybe easier understand information. So today I'll go through three different ways on how, you know, are most common of, you know, learning your information. So I tell you myself, I'm personally a copycat, which means I'm a visual learner. So I learn best if I was to see someone with that dresser, if I were to see somebody put that dresser up, I would learn best by seeing them put it up and then putting it up myself and maybe asking them a couple of questions on how they put it up. And then, you know, I'll be able to know how to put the dresser up from that point on. But I learned best by seeing somebody else do it. So I would probably YouTube a video or even if I saw images of how to put it together versus reading it, right? However, you may be somebody that, you know, learns best by reading. In the school system, they most commonly depend on, you know, we're most commonly taught, you know, the reading technique of, you know, how to learn, right? Either reading or learn by listening. Either you're going to learn by listening or reading in school. You know, you learn by what your teacher's telling you and then you read stuff from the book. However, when you first started school, if you really think about it, you kind of were a visual learner, right? So when you learned how to draw, you know, your letters as far as A, Bs, and Cs, 1, 2s, and 3s, all those things, you saw your teacher most likely when they used to have those little projectors and you had like the, you know, the little thing that they had to write on with the film covers. You know what I'm talking about. You know, when they have those things, you will be watching what your teacher is doing on the screen. So you will be mimicking what they're doing and then they will give you a piece of paper so you will, you know, write it out. That being said, you were a visual learner. As, you know, time progressed, you know, you weren't probably learning specifically. They probably weren't showing you exactly what you were learning as time progressed. But when it first started, we were learning our ones and twos and threes, our math problems, all of that, our shapes, all of that was a visual learner. So with a reading learner, right? If you are somebody who learns best by reading. So, you know, not just the reading, if you read books or if you just, you know, like reading books is a form of learning, but I'm talking about if you had to maybe do something, like I said, instructional with the dresser, or if there's something like wholesaling real estate, would you be able to read a book and learn how to wholesale real estate just by reading that book? That's something you have to figure out. Whatever your technique, whatever your thing is, you have to know how you learn best, right? Because the next one you have is learn by listening. So you have to know if you are somebody that can learn just by hearing what someone does. Oftentimes, as I said, the school system, they depend on the learn by listening. I personally don't find that most effective just because, you know, you want to learn by hearing what somebody's doing, but you don't really learn until you implement it. That's why me as a copycat learner, visual learner, I am somebody that, you know, I learn best by, you can tell me all day what I have to do. Like literally, you can tell me what I have to do. We can go through the, you know, you giving me hypothetical situations, but when it comes down to it, I'm going to be like, would you say <laughs> that's just. That's how I am because it, when you really learn by the actual action of it, when it comes down to you being placed in that situation, you are not really gonna know how to react until you actually you know, see somebody else do it or until you are actually in that situation. So that is why you know, I really recommend you guys, even when it comes to mentorship type of things, you bring somebody a situation or something, you know, that they can work with. That way you're able to, you know, work with them and see how they work by, you know, being in the, the presence of them versus it being hypothetical situations that you're just trying to get their answer or their input on. Right. So to get back on subject with the learn by listening, this is, you know, if you were to, again, be in school, listening to what your teacher is saying, but, you know, even in the adult world, in our, you know, real world society, on a day-to-day -day basis, you may come across things where, you know, you hear somebody tell you, you know, what you have to do, and then you just, you know, you implement those actions. So it's not uncommon to learn by listening in that fast, like in that, you know, 
in that avenue of life. But I'm speaking about your purpose. I'm speaking about your mission. I'm speaking about, you know, what's in your heart. That is the thing that you have to get clear on, right? So all of these is what I'm saying can be implemented to any different avenue of life, but you need to get clear on which way you learn when it comes to your journey, right? So with me, I'm a copycat. I can only speak from being a copycat. You being a reading learner, you may be different, right? So me being a copycat, give you another example. If I have to know how to fix something real quick, I would probably prefer to watch a video on how to, well, I would prefer to watch a video on how to fix it versus going to Google and reading an article about how to fix it. That's a major difference, right? And me just being aware of that and knowing that saves me a lot of times. I know the best way for me to actually implement this information is for me to, you know, learn it the way that works best for me. If you were somebody that learns best from reading, yet you're trying to watch videos and figure out how somebody else doing it, trying to be a visual learner, then you probably be out there all day or be wherever you're at all day trying to fix something because you're not learning it the way that you need to learn it, okay? So just know yourself and always keep your heart in every step because that will make you feel like you're a success on your journey. Enjoy what I got for you. As always, get to stepping.